welcome back to another video of h, &H Express Model and Skill Trains. The Shadow Station is coming along very good. And I was thinking, well, I have a train yard called Kevin's Yard, which is at the upper deck. But sometimes I would store the train somewhere else. So I was thinking, well, maybe I can add an additional staging yard. And I thought, hmm. Where would I do that? Well, I found a solution for that. In the video which I'm showing up here somewhere, you can see that I was testing with some servos. It's a short video where I show that the turnouts are moving with using servos. So that same section of track, I thought, well, maybe I can use that. So. I put it at a place so that I can have the train from that station yard go into the shadow station and then go onto the main track. So let me bring you up closer and I will explain what I mean. So here is Kevin's yard and as you can see there are six tracks where wagons or cargo can be stored. But since I need to move this, and I need to change all this, which is underneath here with all those cables, I thought, you know what, maybe I can make another staging yard to make it easier. So, as mentioned, the work on the shadow station is coming along pretty good. As you can see, the turnouts are in there. The tracks is tested as you can see in the previous video but I thought you know what I'm gonna build a staging yard next to it as well but that will not be next to this area over here I'm gonna put a turnout over there as you can see here and then the track will move that way and it will move on an existing board which I already had. And this board I use in short videos to show that the turnouts can be uh, switched with um, servo motors. So I will put a link here at the top. And this section will be used as a staging yard. So I can put the trains there, I could put cargo there. And then if I want to, I'm going to pull it out. And then I'm gonna make a curb over here and the radius is more than enough to put a normal curve from this turnout off to that turnout so that I can pull and push trains back because the train comes from that way so it turns in here and it be positioned over here and then I can push the train back after I set the turnout and then push it into the staging yard so the locomotive will always be at this end so I can uncouple the locomotive and have the locomotive return back to the shadow station and back onto the main track and I can get some cargo wagons from Kevin's yard back into the main track etc. So that means that I have another extra set of tracks where I can park my trains. So I don't have to store them away. And then I can park all the wagons and trains on my track and keep them there. And if I want to use them, I can pull them out. So that makes it easier. So now we're gonna install this turnout. So we're gonna install this turnout over here so that I can make this curve over here I can maybe slide it a little bit over there so that this curve fits this area and then we can continue to the staging yard so from the shadow station to the staging yard as you can see I put my laptop over here this is the laptop which controls all of my trains on the track and also the turnouts, lights, etc. So I moved it from Buddy Town over to this area so it's out of sight so that I can work on the other scenery as well. 
let's put this turn out in. So I think it looks the right way here so that I can make this curve. So let me put that one in here. So cut needs to be there. And a cut needs to be made here. So let's do that. So these are the isolated sections. So let's prepare this one. I'm gonna cut one beam off. So that's one. So I added the rail jars, so now let's add it to the track. So let's screw the turnout in place. Test it. So now we can add this curve. So I removed this turnout and installed the other one with a less sharper radius. So now we can add this curve. So I already bend it the way I wanted to have it. So I'm gonna also cut it this way. And I will cut that off camera and then install it. And I'm gonna add the cork bed later. And glue it in underneath the track for an easy fit. I will be back. So as you can see I installed this curve and it now fits nicely. So let's try it with a train and see where it goes. I think that is this one. Flip the turn out. So let's put a train in front of it and we will test it. I added a power section to it so that these power sections are connected because of the isolation over here. So let's test it with a cargo train. So here it comes. And it's a very long train, at least for this layout. And I need to check if the curve is good enough. Well, as you can see, it easily matches it. This is the longest section for the staging yard, so there will be, what is it, 
four cargo trains too much on this section, but that for testing, that's fine. So let's bring the train forward. And you see that it runs the curve nicely. So I'm gonna add some cork bed over here so that I can screw this down. And I'm gonna screw this down as well. So I have this nice radius. And then I can have the train going of coming from the main track into the shadow station and then reverse back into the staging yard. So in the next video I will connect those snap switches for the turnouts to my control board. I'm gonna put power on the track just to test everything and I will show you how the uh, control board for this shadow station works. For the staging yard that is separate I already made a, a video of that you can see that up here somewhere i think there and that is in regards to the arduino controlled servos under the staging yard by the way there will be some scenery added over here so a control tower for the staging yard etc this will be a small stream over here so i'm gonna make some extra scenery over here so but that's it for now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these videos please consider to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in a next video thank you and goodbye